Good evening. It's part of rural life, but always divides opinion. But now people who go hunting in East Yorkshire and the volunteers who monitor them say that tension between them is at an all-time high. Fox hunting was banned in 2004, but hunting groups are allowed to lay a scent trail for their hounds to chase. Well, our rural affairs correspondent, Lindsay Smith, has spent time with both parties. Hunting needs to be preserved. Some people say it's stronger than the church in the countryside. Many, many jobs depend on it. Trail hunting is generally a smokescreen for them to continue to illegally hunt. I've got a fox! And when they don't get what they want, they become aggressive. You are going. Because you now. I generally thought I was going to be trampled and I was scared for my life. Please, can you stop? Please! I'm a man, you don't want to say you're scared, but... You never know who's behind that mask. It's the last meeting of the season for the Holderness hunt, a group for whom hunting is more than sport. It's a load of like-minded people and it's just a social cohesion. It's a community spirit. Some people say it's stronger than the church in the countryside. As riders gather, so do the whole wildlife protectors group. We just try and monitor the hunt and monitor for any wildlife crimes, and if they're committed, then we evidence them and report them to Humberside Rural Task Force. Both groups say they're experiencing more tension and aggression than ever before. Hunting with dogs is illegal. What's perfectly legal is for the Holderness hunt to set a scent trail and to chase that with their pack of hounds. I've got a scent on a rag and I'm running a mile and a half, pulling this behind me for the hounds to follow. The tension comes when an animal is killed in that process. Like this incident last year. You did nothing to call them off. We're on the police. Good. He's here now. They've just killed a fox. This incident was investigated by Humberside Police. No further action was taken because of insufficient evidence that the fox kill was intentional. Hull Wildlife Protectors say they've reported three incidents of wildlife crime this year. Is it all just a smoke screen? It couldn't be a smoke screen. With, with trail hunting, you can't do if, buts and maybes. It's absolutes and definites when you're laying trails. Foxes do get killed at times. Well, you know, you're going in the countryside and you've got how many animals living in the countryside. Accidents will happen. Anybody got eyes on hounds? Is the tension getting worse here? 100%, you know, whether it's threats of them telling me they know who I am, my name, where I live. I had somebody repeatedly run their horse at me. Please stop it. People like you. Please, please don't. Please, please, can you stop? Please. I generally thought I was going to be trampled, and I was scared for my life, to be honest. But the tension is felt on both sides. Tom is the huntsman whose full-time job is to care for the hounds. There was points where the aunties would turn up at the kennels at half past three in the morning, sit in three or four cars. Why are you sat outside my house? Well, I am, where my kids are. It can make you quite anxious. You, you never know who's behind that mask. Are you scared at all? I'm a man, you don't want to say you're scared, but when there's people sitting outside your house at half past three in the morning, how would you think? Tom said he's reported harassment to Humberside Police. We approached Humberside Police for comment on the tensions. Both the Holderness Hunt and Hull Wildlife Protectors say none of their members have been charged with crimes relating to the hunt this year. During our filming, no animals were killed. We witnessed trail hunting, trespass and tension in this idyllic corner of East Yorkshire. Lindsay Smith, BBC Look North, Rise. Lindsay, uh, thank you very much.